I'm so obsessed. Uh, that's probably like a bit stalky, but. Mm. <laughs> hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, welcome, my name's Kelton Small, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different from my makeup tutorials. I've filmed a QA and a and I've just answered all your questions that you've asked me. So basically on my TikTok and my Instagram I asked people if they wanted to ask me any questions so I've answered a few and here it is. So if you want to find out my answers then keep on watching. So I first started Glam when I was 13 years old which was in August 2017 and then I started creative February 2019. It was literally before my 15th birthday. I first started TikTok in October last year and my first video was actually like my Pennywise one because it was like obviously Halloween and I'd never have first started TikTok if my sister didn't keep going on about it and people on there so I'm glad I did now. Yes I do have a boyfriend, his name's Matty, I've been with him four years since March 2016 and I'm literally so lucky to have him. He's like my best friend and my boyfriend in one. And he's literally my number one supporter. And I couldn't thank him enough. And I wouldn't be where I am without him, basically. Yeah, so I'm going to college in September. And basically I've just left because of COVID. So we left early, or the 11s. And I'm going to do makeup for uh, two years there. Yes, I do dance. I've been dancing since I was five years old and been competing in competitions. I do like tap, modern, song, ballet, character national, stuff like that. I can do acro, so I can't do like flips and anything, which would be quite impressive if I could. So I don't know what move you'd want me to do because I can't do none of that. I can do like, kicks and leaps and stuff. But if they're impressive to you, then yeah. <laughs> I actually love this question, but I don't have a definite answer. So basically, I watch you, RuPaul's Drag Race. I watch that every week. Like, I'm dedicated to that. Money Heist, Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. I'm waiting on the next season. And Benidorm. It's comedy, isn't it? I love it. But yeah, I couldn't pick a favourite. I've just watched too many. <laughs> So my favourite eyeshadow palette, I actually have two. So I use a lot of the Morphe palette and the Stacey Marie Carnival palette. In every look I use both of these because they've got so many shades in that I don't need to pick up another palette. At the minute my favourite look is my Tiger look I just done like not so long ago. I just love it because it's bright and it's something different for me. It's an animal like, I love it. And it stands out on my page a lot because of the bright colours like the white, the orange and the yellow. But my answer changes honestly every day. Like there's some looks I have from ages ago that I'll still love oh, if I do a new one and like I fall in love with that. So my first look was actually an illusion mask and it took me six to seven hours. And realised and right now I don't actually understand why I picked that for my first look. It was so hard like to get the shade in and make sure it was actually an effect that I should have picked something just easier but now I realise after that, after I got so many likes, that I didn't want to do glam no more and now look where I am. I'm doing creative and that I don't do glam no more so yeah I'm pretty happy with it. So actually the fact that boredom, that I had no other hobby and that I just wanted to be creative got me into makeup. I wanted to do something that would impress people but I couldn't actually draw so makeup took me down another route. So I get asked this question a lot about my favourite food but I don't have a specific one. So basically I love burgers, parmos, some of my viewers might know what that is but yeah they're gorgeous. I love chicken. <laughs> and gherkins i know that's a bit weird but i really like gherkins if you know me yes 
Yeah, so I started from scratch and I basically self-taught. I went from creative to glam and I used a lot of social media to teach myself. So I used YouTube, Instagram, stuff like that. And now you can even learn through TikTok. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, I use social media and I've never had a lesson in my life. So... So, like my other specific questions of what's my favourite, I don't have a specific answer for this one. I'm so picky, honestly. Basically, I love teen stuff. My favourite Disney movie is Tangled, I can say that now. I love After, To All The Boys I've Loved Before, but only number one, I don't like number two. High School Musical, all three of them, just, I love teen stuff like that. Oh, and also the One Direction movie. <laughs> I'm still a big One Direction fan. So I'll literally watch that movie any day. Oh my God, I love this question. If I had to be anyone, I'd be Jeffree Star. Like, be for real, he's got how many dogs, a massive house. He literally has a Louis Vuitton watering can. Like, that's just luxury, that. It's just, his makeup room's massive and all. It's crazy the set out of it and how much makeup he has. And the fact he's friends with Shane Dawson like yeah i'd love to be jeffrey star so looks can take anywhere between two to seven hours it depends like on the detail of them and how creative it is so some of my biggest looks have took like seven hours especially illusions my half and half ones there do take a lot of time whereas some like my magic wand one or something that's not a full face that's only like a small portion of my face will only take like two hours so a cheap makeup brand that i would definitely recommend is revolution i use the foundation the concealer i use it to contour my face bronzer literally everything my eyebrows too and it's so cheap, honestly. Like my foundation stick is like six pound, but it works so well. Like I've used it for foundation here. Other ones I would recommend though are Maybelline, L'Oreal, NYX, and MUA and Elf. You see, I've never really thought of this because I didn't ever want to. It was either makeup or nothing. Throughout school, I was always told like, watch your backup plan makeup won't hurt me you know stuff like that but i always just took it anyway but if i had to pick something i'd probably be a nursery worker i work with kids like only age three to five though i could not deal with older ones like not a chance when i was younger i really wanted to be a professional dancer but it's really hard to be a professional dancer but i'd even love one of them i do actually have a lot of favorite makeup artists but my main ones are Abby Roberts, Charlotte Roberts, Tiffany Hunt, Milani and Poppy Locks. They're all such amazing makeup artists and they're doing so well for themselves. So I actually prefer creative right now, as you can tell by my feed on Instagram and TikTok. They're all full of creative looks, whereas my YouTube is glam, but I'm planning to film some creative looks for my YouTube anytime soon. I just find that creative looks have more detail in them and stand out more and there's a less percent chance that someone else has done it if that makes sense. I still do glam like under my creative because that's the base of creative really, glam. I actually have quite a lot of looks that have took seven hours so my illusion ones do, my mask, my cut open one, my fire and ice one. Ariel and Ursula, Jasmine and Raja, my card skull, a mental health one. So there is quite a few that I have, but it's all worth it in the end. So I don't have a celebrity crush that's a makeup artist, but my celebrity crush is Harry Styles, which you'll know if you know me or follow my TikTok or my Instagram. Because like, yeah, I just love him. <laughs> I support him all the way through One Direction and now he's doing solo, I've seen him. I was meant to see him this year, but obviously I couldn't because it was cancelled due to COVID-19. And now it's been rescheduled for next year, so I still get to see him anyway. I don't know, look, inspired by my favourite song of his. I just support him so much. <laughs> So 
So obviously I'm so proud of all the looks I've ever done. But I'm most proud of probably my fire and ice one as it's what got me started. And it was my first ever big look and I was so happy with how it turned out. Even though it took seven hours and it was so long. But I was so proud of how it turned out and the contrast in it and it lifted me off really. So I'm probably going to have to stop the video here as all my questions that I've been asked aren't different to the previous ones. And it's such a warm day, I'm so warm and this top is sticking to me and it's so itchy. So if you see me itching it in my video then yeah it's just so itchy I can't deal with it. Also I'm very sorry about the way I talk, I might sound like a chaff, I don't know. But I'm really sorry for it anyway. So thank you all for watching. Please go check out my previous tutorials that I posted. And if you have any suggestions of any other videos I should film. Whether it's makeup or it's different to that. Like I've done a Q&A today which is different. Please like this video and please subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. I'll post my other social medias here. Thank you all for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.